one subject for which you will find fans in almost every biosciences course no matter you walk into a bsc course or msc course you will definitely find at least a chunk of 10 to 20 students who will say i want to make a career in molecular biology now such is the vastness and interesting uh, concepts which li lie under this particular subject that majority of the students are mesmerized by this subject and uh, they come to me asking sir how can i become a molecular biologist sir how can i grow as a molecular biologist sir what is the future scope of molecular biologist so to answer all that question and also to tell you from where you should do your molecular biology courses also i'll tell you which companies will be hiring you and what is the path to success in molecular biology a complete end to end video here for you now first things first you should know what is molecular biology you have already studied it it is a science a field where you are studying the biological molecules and macromolecules and uh, you are also trying to understand the molecular basis of life so that's pretty much molecular biology now it all starts from watson and crick and the role of dna is um, the major focus here and how the uh, genetic uh, expression and evolution and uh, diseases happen all of this will be the area of interest for you as a molecular biologist now the moment we look at uh, molecular biology the upcoming uh, technologies like crispr are attracting a lot of investment so it is worth it as of today in the next 20 years you can invest um, your career into molecular biology and grow by leaps and bounds it is just like you know when you uh, have a ladder you can climb faster than trying to you know climb through a rope right so molecular biology is the ladder if you want to climb the vast mountain of uh, biosciences and be successful so yeah uh, let's look at what exactly you can become in the future what is the future scope of molecular biology now some of the emer emerging technologies which we are seeing right now as we speak is obviously crispr single cell analysis omics technologies structural biology synthetic biology so all of this will come together under molecular biology so you, these are the sub parts which you can choose uh, frankly speaking uh, you need to build a very strong foundation of uh, molecular biology otherwise when you try to uh, specialize in these fields it will be very difficult because if you don't have the underlying concepts understood properly you cannot build on the top of it a weaker foundation cannot build a stronger building so keep that in mind you have to start building your foundation in molecular biology today itself now having said that what are the career options which you can get so you can become a researcher you can become a genetic counselor you can become a pharmaceutical scientist you can work in industry as well as academia you can work independently as a consultant also you can have your own lab where you can take independent projects and execute so these are the various career options which you have but uh, now the cup question is from where you can do a course in molecular biology so let me give you a thorough list of uh, uh, we can start with the courses which we have so the first course which we have is from ms university in baroda so they have a five year of uh, integrated course msc program then you have iit kharagpur which has got a very nice program uh, msc phd in chemical and molecular biology then ms ramaya uh, college is also there in bangalore ms ramaya university of applied uh, sciences they also have a msc in cell and molecular biology now msc molecular biology as such is you know uh, offered by indian uh, agricultural research institute Mahatma Gandhi Mission Institute of Health Sciences, Jawaharlal Nehru University (JNU), University of Madras, University of Delhi, Bangalore University, Mysore University, Kannur University, the Tamil Nadu Dr. M G R Medical University, Dravidian University, and Hyderabad University. Now, these this is not a complete list, but this will give you a you know rough idea about the universities. Now, uh, uh, Pondicherry University also has M Sc in Molecular Biology and Biochemistry. Manipal um, also has got a very good M Sc in Molecular Biology and Human Genetics. So these are fusion of two sciences, not just one. Now. once you have done your bachelor's and master's now even if you have not done your bachelor's and master's in molecular biology you can always specialize at the time of phd so there is no need of going for a specific course unless you are really interested so you can go for your phd in molecular biology at csir ccmb 
For that, you obviously have to qualify the CSIR exam. Then you have Institute of Microbial Technology, IM Tech. Then you can also do your PhD at CIMAPS, uh, which is Central Institute of Medicine and Aromatic Plants. Then you have, uh, if you are in Bangalore, then you have JNCSR, that which is Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research. Now, that brings me to the next set. What kind of jobs you can get, um, not just a molecular biologist or a cell biologist or a genetic counselor. You can be a senior scientist in a pharmaceutical uh, domain. You can be working in biotech and uh, various pathological labs also as a molecular lab specialist. You can work as a epidemiologist also, toxicologist also. Apart from that, you also have forensic analyst, clinical research specialist, scientific manager, product manager. Of course, any time you can go into technical sales and uh, technical specialist jobs, uh, regulatory affairs executive. So these are the type of jobs which you can get in. Now, the question which students asked is, which companies I can get in and what which will be easy to get in. So first things first, you have to build a lot of foundation. You have to do a lot of networking. You have to build on your uh, interdisciplinary skills, collaboration skills and communication skills. Once you've done that, then the companies where you can apply for is uh, in India as well as abroad, Sartorius, Bayer, Biocon, Sinjin, Cephid, Workhart, Pyramal Group, India Immunologicals Limited, GSK, Transasia, Sanofi, SRL Diagnostics, Bharat Biotech, Panacea Biotech, Serum Institute, then you have PI Industries, Pfizer, Origin, Biogenics Life Sciences, Unilever. So I told you at least 20 companies where you can work. Now what kind of salaries you can expect? So the salary range is for a fresher in between 15,000 to 30,000 rupees. But as you are a PhD and you progress, so this is for MSc, when you become a PhD, it ranges in between 80,000 rupees to one and a half lakh rupees. But as you progress in the ladder, it goes up to 24 lakhs, 30 lakhs. Even I have seen one crore rupees salaries also in India for a molecular biologist. So overall, there is a huge scope. Depends on how fast you can make yourself valuable. Okay. So the more you value you have, then the company is obviously going to grant you more importance. You become irreplaceable. I know a person, he has 25 patents in molecular biology itself. And uh, the company where he's working right now, Dr. Reddy's, he is getting a, a paycheck of around, I think, 76 lakh rupees per annum. He's a senior scientist over there. So you can see the scope is huge. Money is also huge. And when you try to go abroad also as a molecular biologist, more or less you fit into many companies, not just one type of company. So that's the leverage, that's a benefit you have as a molecular biologist. Very important thing to note down here is you need to have in have in-depth analytical skills, which majority of the students ignore. They think that, okay, whatever is prescribed in, in my syllabus, that's the limit. In molecular biology, and for that matter, any science, sky is the limit. So, you know, inculcate a habit of reading a lot of research paper based on your area of interest. Whenever you do experiment or look at the experimental data online and try to analyze the data and interpret in your own way, develop a lot of interpersonal skills. As a scientist, you know, uh, you should know this that interpersonal skills is very important because uh, you, when you are a scientist, you, you don't have an emotional quotient, you don't know how to connect with people and then you get devoid of opportunity. So interpersonal skills is very, very important and creative problem solving skills. Like there can be situations where there will be no protocol possible and available. So that is where you have to think, how can I solve this problem while there is no protocol available, there is no uh, resources also available. So these are the skill set which you need as a molecular biologist in the future. And these are not generic, these are very specific requirements for any and every lab. And I have seen it in various companies, they make it very, very clear. I need someone with analytical skills, creative thinking skills and interpersonal skills, communication skills. So these are very much important. Uh, in US, if I have to tell you, uh, the salary ranges in between $85,000, it goes up to $1,50,000. And this is the annual salary I'm talking about. The projected growth rate is around 75 to 10% uh, in US as a on the salary side. And uh, because of drug discovery, uh, synthetic biology, personalized medicine, 
the demand for bi molecular biologist is growing and uh, if you want to become a molecular biologist you can always do an internship molecular biology techniques internship at biotechnica link is given in the description we have hands on training as well as online virtual training available for all the students uh, the labs are available in bangalore kolkata as well as uh, delhi so you can always walk into our labs and do your molecular biology internship so these were the pointers which i wanted to share today the last point which is you know, uh, to any aspiring molecular biologist would be gain experience early. Take advantage of the research opportunities which is there while you are still a student. You can use the VAST formula which is V-A-S-T, volunteer as a service and uh, reach out to people, say that I will not charge you anything, give me projects, I'll work there for free and gain as much experience as you can. So that's the first thing, gain early experience. Second is stay up to date, read a lot of research papers, read a lot, a lot of news related to molecular biology. Know which companies uh, have the vacancies and reach out to people, network and build a strong network so that the moment there is a vacancy, you will be the first to know, you will be the first to apply and you will be the first to get selected. So these were the pointers which I, which I wanted to share today in this video about the future scope of molecular biology as a molecular biologist in India as well as abroad and um, according to me the future is bright but hard work has to be done and let's uh, do that together with the molecular biology internship which we have at Biotechnica. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then if you have any questions put them down in the comment section. See you. Bye.